All right, hello and welcome to uh, my walkthrough for November 28, 2023, uh, Clover's Sloop Doku, or as I was joking, calling it, uh, Masu Doku. Um, this is a puzzle um, where if you solve it on Sudoku Pad, it's easy, you, you can get it done in seconds, but um, is that fun? Is that interesting? Uh, your mileage might vary. Uh, to me, this puzzle's way more interesting if I at least, like, let the Sudoku inform the loop. So, let's kick it off. I'm gonna hit start on the timer. Not that I've done this puzzle a couple times at this point, but... So, because this is a loop puzzle, um, the loop needs to rotate in the corners. We know this, um, and we also know that it, um... If it rotates in the corners, it must be, if it rotates on a dot, it must be even. This sees two and four. Uh, this sees two and four. Now, uh, we can do a little bit of Sudoku here. Uh, where does three go in row six? And where does two go in row one? Uh, one and three in here. So we put one and three. Uh, this is five and four. So that's a five and that's a four. Now let's draw a little bit more of the line. Now, two means the line has to come up. Uh, one and three mean the line has to go straight. Five means it has to bend here. Um, down here, three goes straight through there. Four has to come up. Five goes straight. Um, and then one will have to bend because it can't go that way. Now, what have we got? Uh, if I go back to Sudoku, um, in this row, this must be a 4, which is going to be very interesting in a minute. Uh, this is 1 and 3. Uh, 6 and 5 need to go in box 2, so this is 6 and this is 5. Uh, down here, we need 2, 4, 5, so this has to be 2. This is a 4, 5. Um, and this is uh, 1 and 6. We can actually resolve that. This 6, uh, we'll put this over here, and this becomes a 1, which resolves this. This is 3, and this is 1. Now, um, let's go back to our line. Just just because we can. Oh, fine. Before you do that, uh, we're going to put a 1 there, and this is a 5. Now, line. So, uh, the loop must take every square. So, because 4 has to bend, it can't go that way, otherwise it prematurely closes off the loop, so it must go there. Um, that also tells us that the loop has to do this, because otherwise, how do 6 and 2 get out? 5 and 1 come down here, um, 5 goes straight through here, and then 3 has to come out in this spot. Now, uh, 4 and 4... Sorry, uh, let me explain this logic, because this is my favorite bit of logic in this whole puzzle. And if you did it the Sudoku first, you probably missed this. We can resolve this um, without having to do any more Sudoku. Um, you can do Sudoku to finish the rest of this puzzle right now. Um, but if this is 5, how does that work with the loop? because that means we have to draw the line like that, which closes the loop off just like it does in box one, which means this must be four. That is a very clever bit of logic. Um, now, I'm trying to remember how I did this. Okay, so, um, Where does this, uh, okay, so question becomes, where does this connect to? Um, has to go down there, because it can't close that off. Now this has to go here, and this has to go here. Um, now, three has to bend around, and then uh, the way to finish this is to just follow around. And then I will just put some digits in. Uh, this one needs one and six, three and two, uh, two, five, six, four. Ta-da! Um, hope that helps. Uh, yeah, that is today's gas. Uh, thank you for watching.
Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, hey. <laughs>